Good day everyone and welcome to day 240, turn 240 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We have two pieces of news worth mentioning today. We got the first look for Augustus. Of course we already knew all of his abilities, so he likes going really wide, building lots of towns to buff up his capital, nothing new here. Unless of course they decide to reveal Spain. Kinda came out of nowhere, but can't say it was too surprising. If you think about exploration age and naval superpowers, Spain definitely comes to mind. They didn't, however, give away any info as to Spain's abilities, so we'll have to wait and watch for more info there. For my second piece of news, two of our most infamous Firaxis devs, Ed and Carl, sat down with some content creators, Ursa, Bose, and Potato, early this morning. And you know what? If you want to hear what they discussed in those interviews, go watch them. I'm not going to spoil much here, but this is your directory. Ursa asked a bit about modding, multiplayer, and navigable rivers. Potato also talked about modding as well as the age mechanic and how involved Sid Meier is in the development process, and both asked if it's possible to pet the scout's dog. Armed with this information, go and watch your YouTuber of choice and like slash comment on their video to support them. One last tidbit was surrounding the Oracle, which we know what it does now. It's been revealed that the Oracle gives culture from each completed narrative event, of which there are apparently over 1,000, which is pretty insane. That gives me a bit of hope for this mechanic. Hopefully the sheer number of events might stop it from feeling repetitive. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.